Hey guys, this is Andrew from Cryptomaton and in this video I'm gonna show you how to programmatically connect to the Binance exchange using Python. Wait, 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 wait. Pause the transmission. I'm getting a signal here. The Metaverse is a 3D virtual reality set in an anarcho-capitalistic future where two giant corporations own pretty much all the virtual and real assets. Oh, and religion is corrupt too and hell-bent on population control. I have decided to open a new YouTube channel where I'll be talking about Web3 decentralization and the metaverse. If this is a topic that's of interest to you, go ahead and check it out. And as an additional bonus, you will get to see my face. Yes, my real face, the face behind this robot. This is the second video in a series designed to help you build your first crypto trading bot from scratch. If you haven't been following this channel along now, this is a great time to do so, so make sure to subscribe, to like this video and to hit that notification bell. That makes this robot very happy. Now without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first step is naturally just going over to your Binance account. Now if you don't have one, obviously you'll need to create a Binance account. Once you've done that, just go over to API management and create a new set of API keys. So you're just gonna have to give it a name. So I'm just gonna call it test and then hit create API. You'll be asked to proceed with a couple of security verifications. So you'll need to grab a code as well as an authentication code. Cool. Once you've submitted these details, you'll be presented with an API key and a secret. Now, incredibly important, these can give access to about anyone to your account. So just make sure that you don't share your API key or your API secret with anyone. Another really important point here is that you want to enable reading and you want to enable spot and margin trading. For security reasons, do not enable withdrawals. Before you save, make sure that you actually take a copy of your API key and secret, otherwise you will lose them and you'll need to regenerate your keys. All right, so now that you have your API key securely stored on your machine, it's time to install the Python Binance package. Now, depending on how you have installed Python, if you haven't, by the way, please make sure to check the previous video. There are two ways to go about it. You can either simply do pip install Python Binance, like so, pip install Python Binance, but you'll see this didn't work for me. This means that your Python is not, your latest version of Python is not on path, in which case you'll need to do python -m pip install Python Binance, like so. And in this case, you can see that my requirements are already satisfied because I have Python Binance already installed. So install this, and then we're gonna take a look at the actual code. All right, so now that you have your pip set up, that you have your Python Binance all installed in your machine, it's time to actually connect to the Binance API. Now, just a quick side note here, what I have done is I have uh, used a module called OS that will just hide my API key and secret as environment variables so that I don't share them with the whole internet. Cool, another point that I wanted to mention is the Python-Binance dot read the docs dot io. This is the homepage of the Python Binance module that we will be using. It's really, really good as you tend to be developing more on this platform to become familiar with the Python Binance um, package that's also available on GitHub. And this brings me to my final point before I can finally jump into this. If you're new to development or you're picking it up as a hobby or you just wanna learn Python, Rule number one is everything is on the web. While I'm gonna try to provide you with accurate and detailed information to pretty much get you going without having to do your own research in a sense, if there's something missing, Google will have the answer. It has saved my ass a lot of times and it will save yours too. Okay, so now without further ado, let's finally get this going. We're going to need to initialize the Binance client. So for that, we need to import the Python Binance package. So we can do this simply by saying from binance.client import client. That's it. 
That's all it takes. And now we have the Python Binance package imported into our Python script. Now we need to initialize the client and we can do that by creating a variable called client that is equal to client, which is the client that we have imported here. And then this function takes two arguments. If you're new to Python or new to development in general, allow me to explain. In Python, the terms arguments and parameters are being used interchangeably. However, there is a slight distinction between the two terms. Parameters are input variables bounded by the parentheses when defining a function. Whereas arguments are the values assigned to these parameters when passed into a function or method during a function call. Now this will make a lot more sense in a second, I just wanted you to have the definition in your head for the time being. Right, so where were we? We were defining the client and we needed to give this client our API key and secret in order so that Binance knows who to authenticate in this instance. So our arguments fill the parameters of this client when this is defined. Obviously, you won't see this defined in our code because we're importing it. You can, however, read the source code on GitHub to see exactly how these parameters are being defined in the source code. But for the purpose of this video, we will just going to be using this as is. So we're just going to open the parentheses and pass in our API key and API secret. So just a note here, you will actually need to pass your API key and API secret as a hard coded value surrounded by speech marks. The reason that I'm not doing this here now is because I already have them as they should be as environment variables in Windows. So now all that's left to do is check whether this has worked or not. And we can do this simply by checking what our account balance is. So let's create a new variable called balance and this equals client dot get asset balance asset equals usdt and then we want to use the print function in order to get this displayed on the console so what happens down here when the code runs is called the console and it will display messages such as information errors or things that you tell the code to display explicitly in which case we're going to get the code to display us the value of the balance variable and now if we run this using control shift b we get asset usdt free 0.7 locked which is correct since i don't really have any usdt in my account and there you have it you can now successfully connect to your binance account using python if you found this video useful please subscribe like and hit that notification bell if you know other people that can benefit from the resource of this video, please share it with them. If you'd like to talk more algo trading with me, join me in the Discord down below. I'll leave the links down in the description. And finally, keep an eye out on the next video where we will be exploring how to actually send orders and buy cryptocurrency programmatically using Python. Until next time, Cryptomaton out.